dollars. Hi. Hi. So, so do you have any specific questions or things you want to talk about? Yeah. Or we just play video games? Yes. Um, so I figure that you're pretty good at Melee. I'm okay. Uh, and you probably, I heard from Ginger that you know a lot about lasers. I do. And I figured since I love lasers. lasers are the most high level thing Falco has, then I should ask the most high level player <laughs> I have access to about lasers. Okay, cool. Let's talk about lasers. Okay, so that's, that's what I, like I want to talk about. I love lasers. Um, Avery told me I should give you scenarios to talk about lasers instead of just saying I want to talk about lasers. That's reasonable. Um, and so I thought that the situation I think about lasers in the most is when I have somebody cornered because okay. that's when their options are most limited and it's easier to think about it and quantify and stuff saying, oh, they're in the middle of the stage and they can pull out the top okay, platform. Okay, sure, sure. So, uh, Marth in the corner. Okay. With Falcon. Oh, lasers. Marth. So, the way I currently think about lasers is that lasers are a conditioning tool to get big openings, and then you but you use the lasers to get them into a position to get a bigger opening. Okay. And that the laser itself is not necessarily an opening, but a means of getting an opening. It's definitely a means of getting an opening. I don't think the concept of conditioning is super relevant to the lasers because I think the most important concept is just how much frame advantage you have after the laser. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So when you laser me, I'm stuck. If I get hit, there are 12 frames, I literally can't do anything. Um, to give you an idea, that means if you shoot me with a laser at around this range, you're about plus 8 after the laser. Because you have 4 frames of landing lag from the laser, mm -hmm. but I'm in 12 frames of stun. Right. And you see at this range, you're going to land at about the same time the laser hits me. Yeah. So you can kind of think of it in terms of frame advantage at each spacing. If I get hit by a laser when you're further away, you're no much further, advantage. but you get more frame advantage. Okay. Wait, what did you say just now? Well... Never mind. I, I, was, Go ahead. I, I said no advantage, but I meant that you no, can't you get, act no, on it. No, you get way more advantage from far away, right? But it's harder to act on it because you're far away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you actually get a way bigger advantage, right, in terms of timing? Yeah. Does that make sense? Like How do you, you mean? Explain like timing advantage. Like if you laser me right now and I get hit from this far away, mm -hmm. how many like how actionable are you until I get hit? How many frames do you have? Oh, you see, you're way, I see what you have you mean. a lot more you can I do. See what you well, mean. up close there's maybe less time, but it's more you have more immediate threats. Right. That so, um, and then on shield, lasers are significantly less advantage than on hit. Does right. that make sense? Yes. Okay, so I think that is the most important step one, is just understanding it in terms of how much advantage you have. Okay. So let's say I'm in the corner. Uh, what spacing do you want? Um, Give me a spacing. Just outside of fair. Okay, so you're laser me this close? Yes. I would run up and grab Mark 9 a lot. 9 out of 10 times? If the laser, okay, so if the laser hits, I would run up and grab like every time. Okay. If I shielded the laser, that's a mix-up situation. So one thing to talk about is, first of all, uh, if a player is good, you will not know if you're going to get hit by the laser or shield the laser. Does okay. that make sense? That makes sense. Unless, take laser is a good option. Yeah, take laser is a good option. Sure. Now, let's say I do something, like let's say I just nared, and you knew you got the laser to whiff punish the nair before I get my shield up, that's an extremely different situation than if the laser comes out and I get my shield up. Does that make sense? Yes. So that's something very important to consider. So if you know the laser's gonna hit me, like let's say I whiff it up tilt and you approaching laser or something, right? So let's say you dash dance, I up tilt, and then you like, you know, you're approaching laser or something. Then you can just go for a conversion off of it. Especially on Marth, he doesn't have a shine, doesn't have a good spot dodge. No. So if you know the laser's gonna hit Marth, literally just forward tilt or grab him. Like every, it's just free. Like if he's at really high percent, you can forward tilt. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes sense. So that's step one. Second step is recognizing that sometimes they could shield the laser, but sometimes they could get hit by it. So if you go for a run up grab every time, I could shield grab you for it. I could figure you out a shield. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So then that's where it comes into play that, uh, so let's say you back off a little. You're around there. I'm here. So let's say you laser me and I shield it. So laser. So let's talk. So what's happening now? What can I do? You can wave dash forward or backwards. You okay. could jump to side platform. Uh -huh. You could fair nair out of shield. Uh -huh. You could, for some reason, down air out of shield. I, um, so I, I could do an aerial out of shield. Aerial out of shield, you could wave dash forward or forward backwards. backwards. And I could jump. Yes. And I could probably roll or something. Uh, I, yeah, I guess. R roll, shield roll. grab. Shield grab's relevant because if I like, there's also weight as an option. Because if I wait a bit and then do something. Oh my god! Yes. Jungle guy meets someone. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so more importantly, the concept here though is what do I do if you just shoot again? What do you do? If yeah, what do I do if you just shoot me again? You would either 
get stuffed with out of shield where I had to sit in shield block. Okay. And Mart's shield isn't very good. Uh huh. So, so that's huge. Okay. So now there's also some things I can do, like I could wave dash forward and shield again. Right. And then if I shoot laser here, then you could just. It's scary for me. Because you could just. You, you just got a good laser on my shield, right? Oh, I see. Yeah. Right? I'm thinking right? of a different timing. Yeah. yeah. So, I, so I, you, you wave dash and I just landed with the laser and you had to then take I'm in the a laser. bad situation. Yeah, you're right there. I just grabbed it. Exactly. Or yeah. shine or, or shine. do whatever. Yeah. Right? So now, one thing, I could do things like shield, car, shield, wave dash, power shield or something, but that like requires high execution and like if you mix up your timing at all, that should be very difficult to do. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, things I could do though is I could jump to the platform, right? And that's actually pretty good, but then you're still in center and you're on the ground. This is a good situation, right? Yeah. So do you see how just like shooting me here? It's like very good because I have to do something eventually, otherwise my shield just breaks, right? Yeah. So I think that's the first concept that I think is really important that make them deal with the fact that you could keep lasering them. As opposed okay. to most Falcons, they shoot first and then they're like, okay, time to do a bunch of stuff. But it's like, how many players that you fight do you think could actually deal with you if you kept shooting them here? You know, what would they do about it? Would they just try to like fare and then get stuffed and then you can just so like let's say uh, spam lasers real quick. So like. I'm not hitting you for all that, right? Yeah. Like, I can, here, uh, laser again. Oh, wait, one second. Okay, I can do it. See, that didn't even hit you. Also, you should be lasering so that I can't jump off again. Okay, you should be lasering at a higher height. You should be lasering at about a middle height. If I, if I don't hit it, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's but maybe that's something to practice. It's a little, it's a little hard because I practice it, but it's still something like in the moment. It's a little hard. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. But that's something you want to make consistent. Is that um, I showed someone else this, but when Marth dashes, so you see how his arm is pretty high up. That arm? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's where his hurt box is, right? Okay. But now let's say I shore hop. Look where my leg is. It dangles down pretty low, right? Yeah. So do you see how that's about the same height that I was at before? Yeah. So you can kind of shoot the lasers in right in that range. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes sense. So that's where most of your lasers want to be. The only time I would do different lasers are to change your timing. So you could do like a high laser that's really slow and not fast fall on. Because if they try to power shield, it'll throw their timing off. Or if you're really, really far away, you could just shoot a low laser so that if you power shields it, you could easily jump over the power shield. Right. You can actually even jump over the mid height ones, but that is a little bit harder. Okay. Um, but essentially, the concept is just like, if you're this far away and lasering me, I can't even hit you. See, I just got hit, you know? I like, keep doing it. So maybe I could do that, right? Right. So but then, I still have some. You still are fine. So then I have to still make a big read. So as long as you're kind of mixing up your laser timing and occasionally calling me out for doing things like that, then like, do you see how tough of a situation this should be for me? Right. So now if you find yourself losing the situation, you just have to ask yourself why. And I think now that we've talked about it, it should be kind of easy to see why, right? Yeah. So I was playing Duck, for example, and I was lasering him in the corner. And then I would move forward, and he just kept, like, shielding, and then just immediate nair out of shield or fair out of shield with Samus. I was like, hold up. So I just started doing laser, and I just turned around and sat there. And then when he jumped in, I went back there. Yeah. And if he wave dashed in, I would have at least noticed, oh, he didn't jump at me. I would have at least cut my shield up or something. Yeah, you would have you know? time. Or I would just do laser, 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 and then if he nared, even if I didn't punish it, I would just back off a bit and then laser him a bunch more and then push him back into yeah, the corner. because you would still have this exactly, center exactly. stage. So does that make center. sense conceptually? Okay, yeah. So that so to, to paraphrase, to make sure I understand, is I should make my opponent respect the fact that I can keep shooting lasers and force them to make a big approach instead of having to be the one that does the big approach. Yeah, you don't have to take a big risk here. Right. The way I explain it to a lot of people is like, let's say I want to fair out of shield on your narrow approach. Okay. Okay? When am I going to do that? Am I going to do it right after the first laser? Am I going to do it a little bit later if you delay your nair? Am I going to do it after the second laser, the third laser? Like, how on earth am I supposed to know when it's going to happen, right. right? If you're good at mixing it up. The way I explained to Kalindi and like a lot of my students who I give online lessons to is like, I'm like, okay, I'm thinking of a number one through ten. Guess what it is? Good luck, right? Yeah, right. But that's what it is. But then if, it, if it's always just like laser and then nair, and then it's like... And you nair straight at me, right. why then would, why I just fair out of shield the first time every time, and you're just like, oh, I can't approach Martha in the corner. Right. So then the problem is, what people will do is they'll stop lasering to mix up their timing, and then they just get like wave dash forward smash or something, right? Or right. they get dash attack. But the thing is, you didn't have to stop lasering. Because, yeah, to mix up your timing, you can just laser again to mix up your timing. Yeah, just do a different height or timing. Yeah, no well, I'm saying like to mix up your next nair timing. Oh, that's like so true. when people okay, want to yeah. nair at a different time, they always stop lasering. So they'll go laser, and dash instead of nairing, they dash dance, which is what gets you hit. 
But if you just laser it a second time, then that still delays your nair. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, and then, it's just yeah. safer. Now, one, the one downside to it is that if you're always lasering a second time, then there's like a certain timing that you couldn't nair at. So normally you could do laser, wait just a split second, then nair. But if you do two lasers, you can, don't have access to that timing anymore. Does that make sense? Wait, so you mean, so laser and it's like wait nair? Yeah, so like laser dash dance for a split second, then nair. Yeah. That's still different than lasering twice, then nair. Right. So one downside to lasering every time is that you are more limited on the timings you can use. But then the benefit of that is that you're much safer. Makes sense. That makes so you're kind of give, giving up your ability to hit me easily in terms of like having more timings you can use for the advantage of being significantly safer. And that, yeah, okay. That and makes sense. the other downside is, let's say uh, you laser and I so laser, and I go like this to stop you from hitting me, right? Yeah. Let's say you laser again. So do two lasers. So you didn't get anything from that. But right? I didn't lose anything. You didn't lose it exactly. And I still have center stage. Exactly. Right. So that's the concept. People don't feel comfortable with that. Also, you're missing a lot of those lasers, but if they would hit, you would be at more of an advantage. Right. Laser nair. And... Laser nair. Or sometimes, uh, if you're not sure if the nair is going to hit, because like, sometimes I can take a laser that's barely fast, yeah. but you could at least laser, and then I have to fall or double jump. Yeah. So you, you can either just... call out my double jump, or you can just wait, or you can even set up like a dash dance and then time an approach right on top of my landing. Does that make sense? Yeah, like a dash dance. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Like you can do whatever. Yeah. So does that kind of all make sense? Yeah, so then I'm shooting lasers to make you respect the fact that I have the advantage and you are the one who has to make the big read. I have to make a play. And even though, even with the, the sacrificing a dash dance for another laser, it's sacrificing um, options for safeness. Yeah. And there's and you're still in a good situation. Yeah, like even if I even if I miss a laser, like I'm not losing anything. Not at all. Not the right. only way this can go particularly badly is if I'm able to power shoot. Right. And that still requires me to somewhat be ready for what timing you're gonna use. And it also requires me after the power shield to make another read. Because right. even if I do wave dash, like wave dash in place power shield or wave dash forward power shield, that doesn't get me a free hit. You know, because you could spot dodge, you could roll, you could shine, you could dash away after the laser, yeah. you could throw out a forward. To, you know, you could do a lot of things. Yeah, it's, oh. it's, two, it's like basically two reads to, to get. Yeah, it's like the power shield's like half a read where it's like kind of consistent, but if, as long as you make. So it's like, I would call that half a read, and then they have to make a real read after. Right. Okay. And as in. The half a read is still, they have to be ready to get the power shield. So what if you just don't shoot the second laser, then they're screwed, right? Yeah. Because they're waiting to power shield, and then you just narrow them, and then they're like, shit, I get shine grabbed in the corner, and fuck. Nah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, another big thing, though, is this is with Marth. So a big thing with Marth is even if he jumps here, he's still not in, he's not in a bad spot, but he's not in a good spot. If we're talking about Fox, for example, this is a big deal, because now Fox can easily escape to top platform. Right? Fox, so yeah. now, maybe versus Fox, you have more incentive to make more things happen or hold center in a different way. Maybe versus Fox, you want to laser and then turn your back and short hop so that if he jumps, you can double jump bare hand. Right. Or maybe laser and then you start dash dancing and then full jump here. And then if he stays in the corner, you come down and turn around laser him again. You know, stuff like that. Right. But while, because Fox can't just like big dash attack you out of the corner. No. And his moves are much smaller and it's a different kind of risk, you know? Yeah. But versus Marth, maybe you can keep him in the corner better because, his, you know, so each matchup is going to be a little different in terms of how much you have to worry about them escaping. So versus Fox, maybe you have to worry about his escape a lot. Versus Marth, maybe not so much. Right. Makes okay. sense? Yeah. Versus Peach, not so much. But where's she going to go? Yeah. yeah. Versus Samus, not really. Yeah. Versus Fox, versus Falco, yeah, you have to worry about that a lot. You know? yeah. So it's all chic, maybe. You don't have to worry as much as Fox, but you have to worry about it more than Marth because she's stronger on a platform and a little faster. Well, yeah. she's not literally faster, but she's more mobile, kind of. Yeah, it makes sense. So does that all make sense? Yeah, that, that does all that makes a lot of sense. answer questions you had? Yeah, so that's funny because this exact situation was one that I was struggling with because uh, my main practice partner used to be with Marth until he stopped practicing with me. And so I would just, like, I'd get him into the corner because, like, in my mind, that's when Falco's at his most advantageous. Uh-huh. I agree. Um, and then I would just die because I wouldn't do yep. a good thing in the That's corner. That's the normal Falcon Marth thing. Is right. So Marth has to give up space to play that matchup safely because he has to dash backwards or retreating fair. Yeah. So then you get him to the corner, and then every Falcon does something dumb and dies. And then right. they're like, wow, fuck this matchup. No, I wasn't like... But that's no, like, yeah, that's you've heard that before, right? Definitely. Even if it's not you. But the thing is, you have to play that corner situation well. Because, like, I always put it this way. If Marth can win from the corner, then why is he even dashing back in the first place mid-screen? If he can beat you from the corner, then he can just beat you anywhere on the screen. 
But the thing is, he's retreating because that's his main way of dealing with you doing that stuff. So now that he's in the corner, he can't do that, right? Yeah, he can't so, retreat. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about a different. I feel like we've talked that one. And that's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what else? Um. All right. Well. Well, you play, play your play, play your fonts. I just wanna I just want you to point point something out because that's my oh I guess Falco might be my worst matchup. Spacey's are my worst matchups. Do you want Fox or Falco? I'm fine with both. I feel like I would I feel like Fox. Okay. I feel like I can talk to Avery about yeah a lot. So I'll play your Fox. about respecting Fox's lunch dash and I, I'm trying to figure out like he told me I should do like like a fadeaway back air. Yeah, that's decent. But I was like, I don't know, I feel like I should try this fadeaway there. I don't know, yeah. Fox is Fox is tricky. Yeah, so you did a retreating laser, I retreated, 
But the difference is when we both retreat, there's a laser stopping me from moving back forward. But you can just move forward again. Because you're you're already moving backwards. To then, stop you from attacking me. But you have a laser gun. So go. your way of stopping me from attacking you is a safe retreat that puts a projectile out. My way of uh, stopping you from attacking me is moving out of the way or attacking. So, do you see how much of an advantage that is for Falco in every matchup? So wow. you can literally retreat while putting out a hitbox so that if they retreat, they don't get the space back. You literally get free stage. And my only way of beating that is to throw out moves, wait in place, or run towards you. None of which actually beat the laser. They just make sure I don't lose the space. Wow. Does that make sense? <laughs> Yeah, he's so fucking good. So good. So that one you shot too high. Yeah, so I have a bad this attitude. is why Falco players don't laser. Because they try to laser, and then something like that happens, and they just get destroyed, and they're like, well, what the heck? Lasers must be bad. Yeah, but it's like you're lasering at the wrong heights, or maybe you're lasering too slowly also. Lots of people don't laser nearly as fast as you could. How do you mean by fast? Like, from one laser to the next. Okay, not like in terms of fast forward. No. You mean like laser, laser, laser. Yeah, yeah. So like, do shoot lasers really fast? Yeah, yeah. So like, the faster you can do that, the less time there will be in between to hit you, right? Right. So here, let's try this. Stop for a second. So I'm gonna get lasered by you and then try to run up and up smash you. So do two lasers. Look how close I was. Holy <laughs> shit. Like, look, I'm literally, here, I'll even crouch, so crouch cancel reduces stun, right? Right. So let me try it from here, one second. Okay, go. Oh, I maybe had that one. Fine. I'm not used to this anymore. Okay, there I would have had it. Yeah, but you see, but I did the right. I didn't do the. I didn't do it fast. Well, you did. Well, that. I'm just saying, like that was with the crouch cancel this close to you. So imagine if I'm like right here, like. They're like no way. No like, way. Like I didn't even fast fall that one. I missed it. Well, yeah, like, yeah. I don't even have to do that precisely. You to don't. Stop, you just have to shoot them quickly. Right. So, so like okay. people are worried. Oh, Fox just hits Falco. Literally, I'm right here. <laughs> you like here, I'll me. do it. Do it again. Wait. Okay. One second. Okay, go. Can't nair wow. Like, look at that. So I'm gonna try crouch cancel. There. So if I crouch cancel that close to you, <laughs> now I can do it. So that's think about so that. Crazy. And that's from here. So imagine if I'm like even here. This isn't even close to being able to hit you. The only problem is if you ever do anything, literally anything besides laser, now I have time to do it. Right. Now the problem is, of course, if you always laser, I start power shielding, I start jumping on top of you, I just, so it's not like foolproof. But the point is that I can't just hit you. Right, it, it introduces a mix-up, as opposed to having like... Yeah, but it's a mix-up where if I do anything besides try to hit you, you're gaining stage, or forcing me to jump, or... So that's why it's skewed in your favor in a lot of ways, because I have to do something. And if you ever call me out for just running at you, then I get dare shine into... Yeah. Possibly Falcon. dying. Into Falco, yeah. yeah. So does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. So I think when people don't understand lasers, they think that like, people think like Falco can laser Fox here, and then Falco's in range of getting hit afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like they think, oh, Amarth can just dash attack me here. And it's like, no, he has to literally be like, right here. <laughs> literally this far apart. Like here, I can't even do it. And no one understands that, which is why I think people have a huge misunderstanding about that one. Wow. Of course, like I said, there's power shielding, or I could like shield wave, like shield wave dash, and then like jump on top of you. You know, I can do stuff. So. Yeah, but like, like you can, you can I have to stuff. force you to do it. Yeah, that's the and the point. fact that I'm forced to is what your advantage is. Right, like I, I'm, I'm forcing the situation. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we have five more minutes. Okay. Um, 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 uh, let's play Falcon Okay. Oh yeah. My, easily my worst match. I'm so, so attracted Even though Avery's like, oh yeah, your neutral's really good and your punish game's really good. Everything you do is really good. Why are you losing? I don't understand. You're doing everything I tell you to do. So I, that was a hard read, right? Yeah. On your laser. Did you have laser advantage when you did that? No, so we traded lasers. So this is one thing about Falco. I can stop you from lasering at any time by shooting my own laser, and then I just hard read you lasering by narrowing. But if you just didn't laser again, then you would get yeah. high narrow shield. Or, well, it's kind of hard because actually, I think the nair is pretty safe from this range, like shield. Like that's a really sick nair. That yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. So it's not that, but if you just moved out of the way, up to run away back air, you yeah. know, stuff like that. Okay. 
That's one thing that I have yet to actually implement properly is the, the buffer um, uh, after laser. I hear that's very good. Buffer what? The, the up tilt, take laser up tilt. Oh yeah, that could be good. It's not a buffer, but yeah. Or, I understand. What? No. Just a random situation. If Falco's coming down on me with a bear and I know that, do I do like, how, try to, how should I be trying You can bear it, you can dash dance around it. Uh, you could also, sh shielding it is actually very good. Because it's very good. Yeah, yeah. High dares are very unsafe versus shielding. Right, because it's like plus two, or minus two at minus Yeah, two. and that's very, very low dares minus two. Yeah, not very high. Okay. I messed up, so I was just like, what? Okay, I didn't feel what you're doing. You feel what I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah, so I actually think your neutral is not that good in this matchup, but hopefully you see based on what I'm doing why it's not that good. Like, see, do you see how I'm beating it? Yeah. See, I think Avery likes me too much to say that I'm awful. But he like, but he's willing to tell me that I am bad. He wants to say I'm I don't know why he thinks I'm very good at this. Well, I think it's, do you see what's happening in the lasers? Yeah, I'm, you're, you're way faster. Way fa do you see the difference in our laser yeah. speeds? It's way faster. So, so it's, and I don't do anything. Yeah, it's just screwed. like, oh, now no, I'm getting hit by lasers. And so I get do you, that's run. what I'm talking about. Fat like, look how fast these are. Like, actually, what am I supposed to do? You like, can shield a laser and then laser back. Right. So let's say you lose laser control. I talked to someone about this earlier. So laser me twice. See, I got laser control back. And wow. you didn't shield. So I got hit, shielded your next one, and then lasered out of shield. Okay. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is just full hop and then fall in between the lasers with your okay. own laser. And then the, you can also power shield. That's good. But another thing is that... Uh, do you notice how much more often I move forward than you do? So thinking back, yes. Yeah, so I move forward a lot because, like, if we're both going to trade lasers anyway, I'd rather take the stage control while we're at it. Right. Because if we're this far apart, you have no way of stopping me from going like that. No. So why would I do it in place when I could just do it like that? Right. It's like, Does that yeah, make sense? it's effectively the same situation, just down space. Yep. Look, yeah, and you, look. you did it, you did it. And, and what did you do? You lasered in place. Uh, yeah. And then exactly. who shielded the laser? Me. You didn't yeah. shield. So look what's happening. I got all that space, and I shielded laser your out. laser, I shielded your laser, got another laser out. You just got hit. Of course you're going to lose, right? Yeah. This is actually the exact same thing I did with Falco earlier. He was talking about, what do I do for laser control? Gaining laser control. So I started, I was like, okay, let's start an FD match. We started on opposite sides. He did the exact same thing you did. And I was like, look, I'm winning. And they're like, okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah. Right. Wow, that's a really easy thing. Cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I think the, this matchup has very easy rules to follow. Take space when you can. If you need to get laser control back, shield the laser and laser out of shield. Full hop around them, stuff like that. Just having those couple tips and then staying aggressive when you can is just... No, the problem with staying aggressive is you might accidentally start doing high aerials on shield. Right. So then you have to be a little careful, but that's kind of the yeah. concept. You're going to be like, I don't know, passively aggressive or I don't know how to do There's a, it's right. kind of hard, but I, you understand. Yeah, I know what you mean. Right. Well, if you have any more questions, let me know. But let's go ahead and wrap up. Okay, that was good. Thank you. Feeling useful? Yes. Um, I think in June, I think, 